Hello, it's October 24th, which means it's day 24. Um, I think in the like fatigue of doing daily entries, um, I'm recognizing the fatigue of like, having to like face the recovery process every day and to think about it. Especially when it's when the day's not that hard or going pretty well and it just doesn't feel as... I don't know, it's like, it's exhausting in its own way to be thinking of ways that you might be being affected by eating disorder instead of just like accepting the day is normal and you as normal. <laughs> it's um, harder to always be in a state of analysis. And I guess it feels that way a little bit right now. Um, still balancing running and eating and understanding like, what is a healthy runner like and what is a runner in recovery like and uh, making sure that it's not an addictive thing necessarily. I mean, it is because it's so nice. It's so nice to be out on the road um, or in a trail and running and then just at this moment when I was halfway through the run and I realized I had another hour to go and I was so grateful. And I, I was like, oh, God, I hope that that's a good thing and not a weird addictive thing. Um, and just kind of kept going along. I, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what I thought about today. I had the day off and alone and I felt like I really got to relax, which is something I have a hard time doing. Um, so it, it felt nice. I mean, it definitely feels like you know, the evening times are still the hardest. And I think just wanting to avoid or like putting it off now that it's like 10 o'clock is a sign of still like, it's really easy to make the evening times feel kind of anxiety or fluster or it's hard to just relax and watch a show. And I don't know if that's more so just being alone and that's easier to do when you're with someone. Um, but it's hard for me not to be productive. And I, I found myself wanting to make things and um, uh, and just have projects. And it's like rare that I'm just sitting down. And I was able to do that today a little bit more than usual and really take a break because I knew I needed to take a break from all the projects and stuff. And that did feel really good. And I do hope that I'm able to get some work done tomorrow just because working does make me feel good. And ultimately, you know, I am, I am grateful to be doing these things and whether or not it's helpful for somebody, I'm not sure, but I was thinking about my cross country girls today because they had stayed and it didn't go the way they wanted and how hard that is for them and to be disappointment, you know, be disappointed and to work really hard. And it's just always good sometimes to remember other people's lives and what they have going on in them. And, you know, it can feel so much like the eating disorder is this like big, scary problem. But a lot of people deal with problems all the time. And it, this isn't such a big, crazy one. It's not insurmountable. And, and it is helpful to know, helpful to remember that it's, you have people experiencing challenging things all the time, and special with addiction or behaviors and, um, yeah, people get through them and they have ha happy, healthy lives and balanced lives and they enjoy it. It doesn't mean everything. And, um, yeah, that, that can still happen. I don't know. I feel like it's not my strongest reflection. I could have made something up, but it didn't really feel like it. I'm glad that I'm doing it. Having the daily lock is really important. Having that sort of traction or that, like, monitoring or marking each day is nice, so... I don't know, maybe we'll have more days where I just feel a little like, I just don't know about it today. Um, or more, I'll understand why I didn't really want to, why I didn't feel like talking about it or reflecting on it. Um, ultimately, I was glad that I'd spent some time relaxing today, and I think that that's nice, and I just had less energy. And it was good just to feel tired and, I don't know, at rest, like not have the energy to really think about too much.